Hello! Oh god, it's 10 reviews in 10 minutes time again, the video series that's most likely to kill a YouTuber. Hello, Dan. Hey, Stuart, how are you? <coughs> I'm that well. Oh. How, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm not too bad at all. Looking, good. Uh, looking forward to today's video. Have you pulled some tat out of the many boxes in the garage? Yeah, I've got some interesting stuff here. I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. Somehow, I very much doubt that. Right, let's set up the old round timer. Press start. Five, four, three, two, one. It is... Oh, I know this one. This is the cat from farm animals. Because what do you mostly breed on farms? Cats. Good final cat there, Stuart. Yeah, you could be a cat farmer. Could be. That'd be weird. Where else would you get your cat gut from? But here's the great thing about it. I think this is a toy for teaching animal cruelty to children. It's full of, like, beans or something. It's like a rubber bean bag in the shape of a cat. Which is a wonderful thing in itself. Is there anything inside it? Like anything? Yeah, it's like it's like it's got some sort of cereal in it. Actually, it's very weird. Asbestos. Yeah, here's a nice uh, view for you. At home. Oh my God, they've moulded the cat's ass. I didn't realise. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. Well, isn't that something you look at? It looks really pissed off as well. <laughs> oh, looking at my ass, mate. I admire their attention to detail. It is kind of um, yeah weird. It just looks like a cheap morphing program. It's amazing. What? What? If only your cat was this shape. Oh god. Oh fucking. <laughs> uh, this is one I've been uh, looking for. I'd be really careful with that because it's. I didn't even know I'd put this in the garage. Right. This is 1998. The Jam. Basically, <clears throat> somebody sent me this and said they found it in their grandma's cupboard or something. I would guess it's some homemade jam made in 1998. I don't think they sent it to me as if I'm going to eat it. There could be anything in this. It could be full of rat poison. I I've thought, got no idea. I thought it was mints. You thought it was, oh God. Mince meat or something. Ooh, yeah, no, oh, oh no, no, it's got to be jam. Oh God, we've got to open it and find out. <gasps> the top of it is filthy as well. Careful. Imagine loads of bats coming out of there. <laughs> oh God, we may have to come back to this one at the end. That's really not opening. Ah, oh, mystery jam jar. No. Oh, oh God, that sealed itself shut probably decades ago, didn't it? So you run out of time, mate! Oh, ah. right, we're going to put that to one side, we'll come back to that at the end. Oh, God, oh, I've my got to too soon, oh, for God's <laughs> You've ruined everything. Oh, uh, well, that's it, right, the video's oh, over. Oh, all right. God, it's all kicking off. <clears throat> what we got? Dinosaur King! All kinds of toys are selected freely by you. <clears throat> that is the hope of freedom for all of us in this country. Um, Jurassic World! Ah, there we are, it's a Jurassic, the very first Jurassic World toys. The best welcome gifts for the children. Every style's fully wonderful, simulating a true style. So it's Dinosaur King, Jurassic World and Dinosaur World. Anything else? Blimey. Right, let's look at the actual toy before we get to the halfway mark. Um, I think we have to try and open this up, which isn't going to be too easy, actually. Damn. Curse these unsharp lady deathstroke fingers. Right, what we got? Oh my god. <laughs> Well, it's a Triceratops that's been painted by a maniac with dragon wings. Do you think this is the genetically engineered dinosaur from Jurassic World? Oh, ridiculous. I don't know why it's such odd colours. Look out, Chris Pratt, the tie-dye dinosaur is coming for you. That is amazing. Right, next up, oh god. Just what we use missing from the world, the electronic yodelling pickle. yodel a e -U. Didn't, uh... Uh, James Rolfe. Oh god, uh, shit pickle. That shit was it. Pickle, yeah. But did shit pickle yodel? I have no idea. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, this one does. This is where pressing the batteries have run eight months ago or something. Well, that killed some time. Um, that is literally a yodeling pickle. And, uh, hmm. It's supposed to be going a bit mouldy. I don't know how these things get commissioned. That is weird, isn't it? If if I went up to somebody and said, hey, hey, you know your company should be making yodelling pickles, they would probably kick me out of the room. They usually do. It's got no character like it does on the box. No, well. that's the thing. You've got this jolly um, Beerstein holding thing in its um, traditional Bavarian dress that I can't remember the name of, and now it's just that. Oh, my God. They've captured him. They've captured the zombie soldier in a net. We'll all be safe. So, um, it's a soldier with soldier written on its backpack, just in case the enemy don't know. Uh, oh, my God, the eyes. He's seen some things. 
but nothing that any other human has seen, because he doesn't seem to have eyes like us. Right, let's release him from the net they've caught him in, like when Chewbacca was got by the Ewoks. Oh, Jesus Christ, net. My one weakness. <laughs> no, the net. net. Everything's ruined. Oh my god, can't get out of the bloody bag, actually. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, actually, I'm not going to fiddle with that because I'm running out of time. Let's just look at the figure's face. That's amazing. They've sort of painted roughly in the area where he should have eyes. There is articulation, but it's so cheaply made. It's un... Wow! That's... Uh... Oh, that's kind of sad. Yeah, and the other side's a lot stronger. I'd have to put quite a lot of force on that to break it. But, um... Oh, well. Soldier. You just don't know your own strength. What the... Oh, God! I put this next to the jam, didn't I? Yeah. Right. Somebody just sent me a bottle of water. It was in with food, but I'm certainly not going to be drinking this. Aura Joan, Veta, Weta, I don't know, Water of the River of Aura. Um, from One Hall Turkle Crop. I should have looked up what that was. Uh, I, think, I think I did, but I forgot. Sounds like it might be turkey, anyway. 20 clarets, 0% volume. It is literally water from out of a river. What a strange souvenir. Is the uh, paper on the top actually, um, is there something under it to keep the water in or is it just... I imagine, it's just, uh, I don't really want to, oh no, it's, it's, I can undo this hairy string. Um, for any children watching, I should point out that a bit of brown paper and hairy string is not a good replacement for a condom. Uh, That's right then. It's a disappointingly modern looking top on the bottle after this classic design there. But yeah, just some river water. Well, thank you for that, but I'm not going to be drinking it because it would probably kill me. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, the rug rats. Oh, there wasn't anything. Oh. I was going to say there wasn't anything particularly interesting about this from Dollarama, $3 confusing system. It looks like Chucky. Is, is it Chucky? No, that's not Chucky, is it? That's Tommy. It's Tommy. Tommy from the Rugrats there. He's coming at you with a knife or something. That's why I said Chucky, I think. I was thinking of Child's Play. And he's got this really weird expression on his face. It's a screwdriver. He's. Why have they given an infant a screwdriver? I know. That's the type of thing that uh, they'd use to shank you in prison with, Stu. That's it. Tommy's gone to prison. And he's gonna shank the King of the Guards. I don't know why they'd have a king of the guards. That's a really weird setup for a prison. <laughs> Comes with an accessory, but it doesn't really. It's just kind of stuck in his hand. And it's a massive box that he's set away from. Come on, Tommy. Show us your shit. Oh, it's articulated. Um, it's quite nicely built, actually. The head doesn't move, but the arms do. It's got weird articulation on the arms, which, ah, uh, he's too bulky to actually use. I'm gonna get you, squealing Jimmy. Right, what's next? Sheep poo paper. Oh. This is an air freshener. I hadn't really... Oh, this one arrived very recently. This air freshener is designed using innovative Wave and Waft folded fragrance technology. The more it waves, the more it wafts. I'm more worried why it's called sheep poo paper. In the... In the magical, mystical mountains of Wales, sheep dung is sterilised, washed, then turned into card. Yes! No trees were harmed in the making of this unique and eco-friendly air freshener. Daffodil fragrance. How bizarre. I... I, I don't really get it. I don't know if yeah. the... Um... You're turning shit into an air freshener. You wouldn't think that would work, would you? Oh god, 15 seconds. I can't get it out of the packet. This is a problem. Uh, here we go. And what does it smell of? Dandelions, hopefully. It smells of shit. Mmm, <laughs> it does smell quite dandelion-y. It just smells like somebody's really strongly sprayed it with an air freshener can. It's got that kind of thing. Ooh, and there's all sort of lumps and the, it doesn't feel like card. It feels softer and it's got sort of bits in it. Thanks, lads. Make sure you wash your hands later. Yeah, I'll just lick them clean. It'll be fine. It's a weird, staring octopus toy. That's marvellous. Ooh, with weird hairs protruding from it. Bananas. Of course. Of course. <clears throat> now it all makes sense. Oh. It's not actually an octopus. It's just a load of bananas that has grouped together and become sentient. <laughs> like a king of rats. And involved into a fucking octopus. <laughs> yeah. It is just a load of bananas forming a gestalt entity. Bananas. Batch number 1413. Uh, a classic vintage of the bananas octopuses. Imagine them posing out Oh, I've got this great idea, guys. Oh, we get an octopus. It's called bananas. Think and it's about... yellow. Oh. It's yellow. Oh, it's going to blow their minds. Oh, oh. This has got to have come out of one of those Butterfingers crane vending machines that doesn't actually click until it's taken a certain amount of money, isn't it? Oh, and socks. Two pairs. Oh, yes. I remember. Good God. These literally arrived yesterday, I think. Two pairs of socks. Wow. Two euros. That's great. One euro each. It's like Poundland, only similar. 70% cotton, 25% polyester, 5% elastine. Now, these are cool. I'll tell you why. I shall rip them open. 
boring, vaguely Irish-themed socks. Boo. But <clears throat> these are genuine Irish inking socks. Oh. Which basically means I think they wanted to put drinking and somehow completely inking. failed to put the D and the R. You can see how it's justified. Boys, we can't afford the D and the they R. Are. What do we do? I know. Inking socks. <laughs> so for anybody in Ireland, presumably, who is drawing and they've done their pencil and they're about to uh, go over the pencil with ink, they have to wear these socks mm. or it's not an official picture. Do you think it's a play on the, uh, how they say, drinking? Inking? No. No, I think it is purely a misprint. There was a great letter with this where the person who... Um, Arrgh! We're out of time! So I'm going to continue anyway. <laughs> the person who sent them in managed to negotiate a cheaper price on them because of the printing error. Really? Yeah. And apparently they have a shelf of misprint, misprinted items that uh, their pair of these went on. Oh. What a world we live in! What was your uh, favourite item of the day? Hmm... Uh, the yodeling pickle is very high quality yodeling, so I quite like that. The freakish uh, stretchy cat, there's something pleasing. Oh god, I've ripped its throat open. Yeah. Oh dear. Cool. That's the end of the freakish cat. Um, I think I liked crazy explosion in a uh, paint factory triceratops. It's got really revolting colours on it. It has. I wonder if this was something to remove for a battery, but it's not. It's just stuck around its leg to keep it in the package. Boring. Also, weirdly, the body is hard plastic and all the other bits are a sort of rubber. Except the head, which is kind of halfway between the two. There's a strange mix of media, much like a strange mix of colours. There we are. If I was ever in a war, I would want to ride one of these into battle. <laughs> I see you coming a mile away, Stuart. That's the plan. They'd be so scared at how cool my dinosaur looks that they would hopefully rescind their warlike ways and become like Gandhi. Uh, Dead. Uh, maybe we should get, like, maybe one of your viewers is a very talented artist, and then we can ask them to actually draw that and actually yeah. send it in, please. That's it. We need uh, either me or Chef Excellence, entirely at your dis uh, discretion, riding this into battle. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Dun, 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 dun. We will feature that in an upcoming video if any of you do a really good one. Yeah. Please do. Please. That'd be amazing. You squeal, didn't you, Dino? <laughs> Nobody gets one over on pickles. Should we try and open the, uh, the, the jams? Oh, God, yes. That was the whole thing we were waiting for the end that I had totally forgotten about. Yeah. I'm trying to work out if this would fit in his hand. The answer is actually... Oh, my God, it kind of does. That is a rarity. I can't feel my arms, Johnny. <laughs> you ain't got no arms, Tommy. You ain't going to be playing the piano anymore <laughs> unless you only do it with one hand, which is actually kind of feasible. Yeah. Right. It is. Ravel, his composer, wrote a, um, a concerto for um, uh, Wittgenstein. Good God. It was a one-handed pianist. It was a one-handed concerto. That's true. Wow. Yeah, really, really impressive. We are taking you to the next pub quiz. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, right. This is going to take some machinations. Yeah. Jump cut. Done it! I had to kind of pry it around it because it was too tightly on. It was these are these bits used to seal it, I think. Stuck a knife under them, and now we've got some movement. And that is looking very much like jam, actually, but with a kind of yeah, fluidy top to it. Hang on. What type of jam would you have said it is? What are you I don't doing? know. Oh, no, I'm not going to eat it. Don't worry, I've got no idea what it is. Um, could literally be full of poison. Oh, God. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Some sort of dark fruit. Is it strawberry? Raspberry, maybe? What's it smell? You have to throw that spoon away when you're done. Nah, sterilise it. Sterilize. Oh, I'll tell you what, it just smells very faintly of um, fruitiness and quite alcoholy, which probably means it's rancid. Well, I'd be surprised if it wasn't, frankly. But, the uh, faint hint of death. Hmm. But <laughs> a cloud in the shape of a skull comes out. <laughs> Try some, what do you think? Try some. As, as I meant, smell it, not actually eat it. Yeah. Hello. Oh, Whoa. oh God. Oh God. Whoa, the river water. The river water. Is it safe? Oh God. Oh, thank God. It's all right. If you spill it out, it summons the entire river. Yeah, it does. It, uh, <clears throat> we all end up getting um, cholera. Yeah, I could do without that again. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is just kind of yeah. I'm not even going to tack it to my tongue because I don't know what it could literally be an attempt to poison me or something. I've got no idea. Oh well, that's the mystery jam. Mystery over. I feel there's a fr it smells a bit like a slightly unusual fruit, but um, that could just be because it's gone funny and it's, uh, say, it's got because, that alcohol content. It's probably the death in it, man. Yeah, it's, I'm smelling the death. Death jam. Yeah, death jam. Hey, 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 h
Professional. <laughs> Professional jokes over it. Don't do that. Ah, oh, that's actually. You, why did you put the best figure in there? Because he's been shiving people, and I'm sick of it. Aww. Plus, it's quite amusing just to see his little feet poking out. I would imagine. Did you ever watch Rugrats? Oh God, it's so solid. I can't even get him. Down. I never really. No, I was a bit uh, after my time. Rugrats. I used to fucking love Rugrats when I was a kid. It was really. Um, what's it called? The animation, like, um, really, really. Um, he used to always do these really elaborate intros. And um, it was one of those things where it would keep you guessing what it was. I used to really love it, really, really, it used to be really good. Then they mm. made a movie, and it went all fucking downhill from there. Didn't they have a weird series later where they were all grown up or yeah, something? I think, I think it was called All Grown Up. Yeah, they did. I and never, they were like again, by that time, I... I Stockbrokers or something. Yeah, it was terrible. But, yeah, the woman who did the voice of Chucky, um, fortunately passed away, I think, last year. Oh, so, yeah. it's a shame. Yeah, I think so, it's a shame. And on that bombshell... We should leave this place. Hmm. What do you want to do? I'm going to set off the pickle grenade and run. Ready? <laughs> Go! Subscribe for more.